Mars is lousy with water and life. Then it's not under the ice at the poles or deep under the ground, it's everywhere. Microorganisms all over the rovers. There are? Mm-hmm. How do you know that? Because life is absolutely everywhere. It's omnipotent. It's absolutely part of the fabric of the universe and no part of the universe is gonna be without that fabric. What about space and being a vacuum? And there's nothing Well, I'm not there. talking about ambient life yet. I'm oh, talking about okay. Extraterrestrial on, yeah. on the ground life. Yeah, okay. That's right. It just, just like, okay, well, no, 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 no. And Joe Rogan said it with Trump the other day. Do you know how, actually, this was very intriguing. I was actually a 10 year old boy with the Viking lander. Okay. I'm a geek in space at that time. Oh. You didn't know if they were going to find life. Everybody was fired up. Yeah, Is yeah. there life on TBD. Mars? Because they sent a life that, detection instrument. That's right. Called the labeled release experiment. A couple other ancillary experiments. The name was labeled release. We'll go find out where there's life. You know, and whatever, I don't remember what the time period was. They come back and said, nope, no life. And you're like, hmm, okay. And they never put another life detection instrument on another <laughs> rover. 60, All they do years. is test for the building blocks. You could have live material or desiccated hibernated material right there and all anything since 77 that has been out there on another planet has not been equipped whatsoever to test for life. So why did those tests come back negative? They didn't come back negative. Two out of three of the components of the thing came back absolutely positive and the third was inconclusive. Everybody, we found life but they didn't have the balls. It was all yeah. there. It's how you interpret it. 